Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and it is September 10th. We are getting closer to uh, September 11th. We won't be doing a devotion tomorrow, but we do want to remember that day. That is a, um, we would be 20 years after 9-11. So make sure you are in prayer for uh, all those that lost loved ones back in that terrible day um, that are still mourning them and uh, such a tragic thing. Um, we said we would never forget, but I'm afraid we might have many of us. Of course, many of us were not old enough to remember that, unfortunately, after 20 years. But with that out of the way, let's get back to the Gospel of John. Uh, we are still in the first chapter. Uh, we'll have one more day, I believe. Uh, we'll be Monday uh, in the first chapter of John, and then we'll be jumping into chapter two of John's Gospel. Um, and remember, we're not doing devotions on Saturday now. Uh, so Sunday we'll have worship at 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. But today we're going to look at verses 35 to 42 in the first chapter of John's Gospel. So let's take a look. <clears throat> the next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched, Jesus walked by. He exclaimed, look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, it's interesting here. Again, this is John the ba Baptist talking here. Um, we've got a couple of different Johns mentioned here. Simon Peter's dad is John as well. Uh, John and John and John. There's lots of Johns in John's Gospel. But John the Baptist has identified once again Jesus as being the Lamb of God. He did that in yesterday's passage as well. And of course, Jesus is that perfect, spotless, first fruits, that sacrificial lamb that is given up as a sin offering. That is what the reference is here. Um, it's interesting how much Hebrew or Jewish uh, thought there is into this letter that is really written predominantly, I suspect, uh -huh. to a Gentile audience. Um, it's interesting because here he writes, they say to him, Rabbi, which he ha which is in Aramaic. So they have to translate that into Greek, <laughs> which means teacher. And later he says Messiah, which he's saying in, in Hebrew. And he translates it into uh, Greek again as anointed, Christos. Um, he brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Um, that is Aram Cephas is Aramaic, and Greek is Petra, and they both mean rock. Okay, So this is identifying Peter as the rock. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog, frog in my throat this morning. But for us today, I want to go back and look. When, when, when Andrew here, um, and whoever this other disciple is, he is not identified. Um, there's lots of speculation, but we don't know. Uh, whoever it, it is, doesn't, it isn't significant for the passage. Um, but Andrew here and his friend that are with John the Baptist, see Jesus walk by. John says, here is the Lamb of God, identifies him as the Messiah, uh, the, the one that has come. And so these two turn and follow him. And Jesus says, uh, turns to them and says, um, what are you looking for? And that's a question that we need to ask ourselves or that we should feel God asking us when we start to explore this thing called Christianity, this relationship with Christ. What are you looking for? Um, and where are we going? Are we going to... Uh, are we looking for the answers? And when we see that this is truly the answer, are we going to be all in like these two guys and go and stay and have this relationship with Jesus? That's really what's going on here. There's a relationship thing. There's a teacher, student, follower, 
and leader relationship going on here. And they go and they stay. And they, they immediately want to go know where he's going because they want to go there too. And so that's what we need to be asking ourselves. Are we going to go there too? Are we really looking for, for Jesus or is this some other thing that we're looking for? Um, are we truly looking for this, the grace and the salvation, the true meaning of Christ? So with that, I'm going to let you go for the day. Uh, again, Monday, we will finish up chapter one and then we'll keep moving into chapter two of John's gospel. So have a very blessed day and please, 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 as I say, be a blessing to someone today. And don't forget, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, come join us for worship either in person or online. All right. Take care. Bye bye.